Choir, I want you to stay right here. I want you to stay right here. Brother Swilly said something a minute ago that was right on point. And I'm telling you, the order of this service has changed. The reason is you, we are unstoppable. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you know why we are unstoppable? Because we are riding. I said we are riding with King Jesus.
That's why we're unstoppable. No man cannot hinder me. Hallelujah. I want you to stay right here. Spirit of God can do more in three minutes than I can do preaching in three hours. Don't get afraid. I'm not about to preach three hours. I did not know that they had rehearsed this song to sing today. And I requested it to be sung at my mother's homegoing celebration. As the last song right after I finished with the eulogy. Now, I'm not going to re-eulogize my mother, but I have to share something with you that I left out Friday. How many of you were here Friday? Let me see here. Wait a minute. How many of you were not here Friday? All right, you need to hear this. My mother was saved when she was nine years old in a Nazarene church. She was baptized with the Holy Ghost in an open-air tabernacle church of God meeting sawdust on the ground. And she led her mother and father out of, for lack of a better term, religiosity by being able to say, oh, I go to such and such church. Are you a Christian? I go so and so. My name's on the book. My letters over at so-and-so. So she led them out of religiosity into salvation. My granddaddy received the baptism of the Holy Ghost not long thereafter. He was general superintendent of the cotton mill. He knew everything about a cotton mill, how to break down shuttles and everything in the weave room, the whole, all of it. He knew every bit of it. And he started, before bus ministry started, going to the cotton mill 10 times every Sunday morning, bringing his employees, children, and grandchildren to church. One of those young men he received the baptism of the Holy Ghost and wanted to go to Lee College. My granddaddy helped him go to Lee College and paid the bulk of, if not all, of his tuition. That young man left Lee College upon graduation, went to the evangelism department, and started a program in the Church of God known as Pioneers for Christ. And... That was a witnessing program where we went out, knocked on doors, met people in the park. I led a man on a Pioneers for Christ. When I was at Lee, I went to Michigan, and they took us to Circus Park in, in Detroit City. And I led a man that grew up in the Russian Orthodox Church. I led him to accept Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior right there sitting on a park bench. But my point is this. That young man, after organizing Pioneers for Christ, went to Norfolk, Virginia, and pastored one church his entire career and only retired a few couple of years ago. And I got to thinking, how many souls have been saved through his ministry that we know of? And I called international offices, and cumulatively between his ministry and my ministry, he started preaching when he was 22, he was about seven years older than I am, and I started from credentialed ministry 
at age 20. From that day until now, over 17,500 and something souls have accepted Jesus Christ. Just from the two of us. Now, that's not to count other men that came up under my ministry, that came up under Aubrey May's ministry. And I said all of that to say this to you on a Sunday morning. All of those souls go right back tied into the root of a nine-year-old girl that gave her life to Jesus Christ. So I said that to say this. Don't ever minimize the importance of teaching children. In teaching children, you don't know what they're going to grow up to be. Teach them the word, and when they are old, they will not depart from it. Oh, well, my son lived to be so-and-so, and he didn't serve God. But I'll guarantee you he never got away from the word that was sown into his heart. It never leaves you. Before my mother died, my wife's daddy ha has Alzheimer's. The flesh deteriorates and wastes away. But when we were with my mother or when we're with her daddy, we can start talking about the Lord and a hand will go up in the air. And when we start singing a song, hands will go up in the air. And as best they can with, with Brother Dawson, he'll try his best to sing. And it's just mum, 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 mum. With my mother, it was. She couldn't get it out. But the spirit of God that was in each of them never dies. I don't know how many people have talked to me who had loved ones who knew God. And in their closing hours, they would go in and visit those loved ones and they would talk to them about the Lord and those loved ones start quoting scripture to them. The word never dies. Heaven and earth shall pass away, but my word shall not pass away. I don't know about you, but I'm ready for five years. I'm ready for five years. I don't want, I don't want another Brownsville. I want a connection point. And I'm believing God for a move of his spirit, a move of his power that is unstoppable, that is immovable, that cannot be quenched, that cannot be put out, a fire that will come from embers and burn into raging flames. I'm looking for revival fire that'll sweep through the place and the smell of God go through the community. Hallelujah. The sweet smelling savor of a Holy Ghost filled people. Well, hallelujah. When we walk into people's presence at Walmart, when we're walking down the aisle at Kroger or Publix, 
when we're sitting at the table at Longhorns. People will look and say there's something different about that man. There's something different about that woman. Oh, I remember growing up, I believe the difference in that man, that woman, is God. There's something different about them. I believe I feel God in their presence. I feel guilty of what I've done when I'm in their presence. I feel guilty of things I've said when I'm in their presence. Why? Because the Holy Ghost of heaven gives off a sweet-smelling savor that blesses the mind and the heart of God and touches the heart of humanity. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless His holy name. Forgive me for being personal, but will you indulge me? Will you indulge me and allow me to just be personal for a minute? I want you to get ready. Stand to your feet. Lori, I want you to come back. I want you to get ready to sing that again. And when they get to that ride on King Jesus, ain't no man going to hinder me. I want you to rise to your feet and start praising him. Now listen to me. Brenda took a picture of me and my mother. I'm an only child. And I was the only grandchild for 14 years. And Ken came along and ruined it. But yes, I'm spoiled in the right way. Brenda took a picture of me sitting by my mother with my arm around her shoulder and my left hand steadying her shaking arms and hands and her head laid on my chest. And I said to Brenda, the only thing that would be better that, than that picture would be for my godly mother who birthed me into this world would herself leave this world from my presence or my touch. And when we saw she was about to breathe her last breath, Brenda and I jumped up at the same time. I ran over and I grabbed her hand, lifted it up just as she took that last breath and joined that heavenly ride and went on to glory. Sing it now.
Phantom Church. and praise him in this house. Father, we thank you for your presence in this place today. We thank you for lives that are touched. We thank you, oh God, for people that have rejoiced in you, live for you, serve you, praise you. Thank you, God, for your hand that delivers, your hand that guides, your hand that leads. Thank you, God, for every heart, every home, every individual thank you God for every person here may they leave this place walking in your divine favor may they leave this place walking knowing that one day we're going to be in your presence and until then ain't no man going to hinder us we're going to ride with King Jesus all the way to glory Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you for what you've done, what you're going to do, and what you are leading us to do. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. God bless you. We'll see you on Wednesday night.